What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kuroko no Basket, episodes 9 and 10. Now, we are getting close to finishing the preliminaries of the Inter High, but with that being said, we're going to have the greatest obstacle we've ever had. We are currently going against Seho, and the next game is going to be Shutoku, which are going to be the two hardest games we've ever had back-to-back. -back. We are currently going against um, Sugawa, who we were able to barely get past in this last point where Kagami had the little reaffirming his resolve with kuroko saying hey this is very important to our second years we need to win this game for their mental fortitude and then sugawa was like oh the pain and uh, the hurt is about to come so this is only getting started so i am very much ready for this and to see what happens after this remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching up to four episodes ahead all that is available on that patreon links are down below like always for you guys you guys can also watch this uncut and early with me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episodes 9 and 10. This first one is called To Win. Let's do this. Starting with the actual beauty of Midorima shot. Yeah, what do you do besides just watch it go down and watch them score a point, you know? So they're up 16-2 when he feels like he's done, which they they respect him to know when he's done. Those are some good passes. Some good teamwork with the captain. Yeah. Oh, good block, Kagami. Uh, that was a foul, so he gets some, some free throws. Who knows what it is, man? Ah, oh, me too. Me too, Kisa. They're a team of experts. They've mastered their craft over the years. I like that. <laughs> Especially coming from Kise over to Kuroko. It's so dope. Normally, this would push the buttons of someone like Kuroko or someone on Kuroko's team, but not Kuroko. This would never face him. This would just make him more non-emotionally motivated to beat you. Ooh, I like our squad so far. Junpei, Mitobe, Kuroko, Kagami. Ooh, okay, fake pass. Who's that going to? They don't notice Kuroko. They never notice Kuroko. Anytime I see them throw a ball wildly like that, looking like it's going towards no one, I'm always like, Kuroko's about to do it. Good shot. Right? The iron wall will never notice something that's already inside their wall. I like the way they said that. Ooh. <laughs> way to go, Kagami. Ooh, good steal. See, that's the thing about no somebody you never notice. They're going to steal. Kuroko's going to have so many steals. That was a good shot, Junpei. Oh, our engines are finally running. We're starting to get going. 1919. I'm glad we're getting some recognition. Come on, don't look down on us. It's just getting started. Absolutely. He was hoping for some praise. I mean, that's what they said. They said, leave no gaps, not a single gap. Yeah, like, what are you going to do? But no one ever notices Kuroko under the legs with the slap pass right back to Kagami. That was kind of clean. But then their captain is not letting them get inside the paint. We got the shadow Kuroko with the same thing again. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm telling you. Kuroko was so nasty. Hell yeah, we're only going to get more in tune. We're only going to get better. Well, we're running out of steam. Yeah. These kind of games, the stamina required, the conditioning required. <laughs> Unbelievable, I tell you. This guy is sick. You're quite the sadist. 
That is a good point. They're a great combo to score, but limiting only one of them to being able to score definitely limits their options. And plus Kagami overexerting himself, getting tired of shit. I was getting way too hyped. Foul. That's the, they were drawing a foul. It's the fourth one. One more and he's out. That's number four. God. <laughs> Never would I thought I'd be seeing some uh some flops in anime. Okay. I mean, maybe it's part of the strategy for one reason, and that is. Oh, uh, conserve energy, conserve mental strength, all that, physical and mental. Okay. They're thinking about the long game. I like, they're not even worried about this game. We're going to win this one. That is true, though. They are de most definitely doing that. That is very true. All right, Junpei. I fuck with you. <laughs> I fuck with you, Junpei. Have faith in them. Hell yeah. Have faith in them. They will win this game. You guys win the next one. These are my boys right here. I get such high Q vibes, and I love that show to death. Yeah, don't, don't look down on us yet. I know, right? Don't forget, you're our first year too, Baldy. What does Midorima have to think about that? Midorima's quite observative. Junpei going through with the pass? Okay, that was clean. Mitsubei's not out. Oh yeah, that's the boy. Come on. <laughs> that was just talk. We were saying that for them. Ultimately, we want to shit on you. <laughs> These are my boys. Come on. Good screen. Ooh, great block. That is my captain right there. Come on. He's going for the side shot. He's going for the hook shot. Hey, my man is clean with it. He's so okay. Okay, scooper. We all got our own little trick shots we're doing out here. The hooks, the scoops. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful layup. Well done. Oh, yeah. They've been working like crazy, plus the addition of Kagami and Kuroko. Oh, Junpei. That's his last name. Got it. So, I know Junpei, I know Mitobe, but we got this guy, their point guard. This guy's got the Byakugan. <gasps> Bro, why are these guys too clean with it? Oh my god, these guys are fucking clean with it. That's what I'm saying, this man's got the bird eye view. Izuki. We got Junpei, Mi Mitobe, and Izuki. Okay. Oh, that's broken. This man has courtside seats in the game. <laughs> I already love him. Izuki's already one of my favorite characters. Kogane can shoot from all ranges. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Sushida, okay. 
Kogane, come on. <laughs> he just will always get those rebounds. So this is a long-running, intense match. Does that say it's the fourth quarter? We're down, what, six points, five points? Oh, great save, Kogane. <laughs> great save. Damn. We got to conserve your strength. Uroko is going to come in and save the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're a tag team, right? We're in tandem. You want to get revenge on him? I'll do it for you. And Sugawa, yeah, didn't even recognize him earlier. He's like, wait, who are you? Wait, you've been playing this whole time? You'll know us by the end of this match, I'll tell you that. By proxy. <laughs> I'm his ambassador for revenge. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, on to episode 10. This one's called I Can't Have That. Let's see what they're talking about. I can't have that. Oh, God. Something tells me this is going to be the finale of this match. And we're going to get into Shutoku after this. So I'm very excited. I get it. You're trying to play the mental game. Trying to push some buttons. Trying to get in our head. But it's not going to work on Kuroko. Ooh. Axe. Axe. I love Kuroko so far. And I love our second years, too. Our seniors. They're... Mm. And then you're literally looking at him in his eye, and he disappeared. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> great pass, great double pass over to Junpei. Good. Good layup, boys. Well done. Now, you better get used to that. You got a whole five minutes left of it, my friend. Little do you know. Oh! That was a great steal. That was a fantastic steal. Over to my boy Mitobe. <laughs> Facts. Facts. If you specialize in anything, you have habits. Okay. Okay. So we can use those little habits, those little tells, like a poker face, to know exactly what they're doing, where they're going. See, this is the back end of the things I love about shows like this. The strategies. The, ugh. I love this. It's not just about talent and, and having the physical attributes needed to win, you know? Half of it's mental. <laughs> That said, keeping up with those was harder than we expected. Half of it's the mental, half of it's actually physically being able to do it. I love it. Oh, yeah. If you're the one doing the habit, it's hard to beat. It's hard to break a habit for sure. Especially in the midst of doing something where you're like, your reaction time has to be split second. So your muscle memory is kicking in like crazy. My man, the way he like slaps it, but he just and guides the ball directly where he needs to go. It's gr it's crazy, isn't it? Seeing how his at his work from the bench. This man's a fucking maniac. <laughs> this is like watching Hinata and Haikyuu on the bench. You're like, wait, this is the shit he does in the actual game? That was a great pass. That was a great shot. We're up with 30 seconds left? So if they get this, they're up one. So we can't let them get this at all. They get it. So now they're up one with very limited time left. Okay, good screen, Mitobe. Kuroko with the amazing pass. What's he going to do? He's looking. You can see his eyes. He's studying where to pass to. Oh. Kuroko doesn't seem phased, though. <laughs> What's he going to do? He heard Kagami with the fake pass? Did he miss or was it a fake pass? With the jumping, beautiful shots, Junpei. <laughs> shouts out Kuroko, shouts out Junpei, shouts out Izuki, shouts out Kogane, shouts out uh, Mitsobe, shouts out Suchida, the entire team, man. These are one of the big three, like we beat one of the big squads.
damn bro that kind of is a bar right there the strong don't win the winners are strong they were strong Ooh, my guy with the bars i'm sorry i gotta recognize real recognize real for sure tell me your name after not even recognizing him playing him half the game he asked for his name kuroko I always love this, how they do this in Japanese sports. I know. I'm like Rico. And Shutoku won as well. Uh, they did say it was a mid-tier school, but holy shit. So I'm already starting to get favorite characters on specific teams, and I'm starting to like other teams. Oh, <laughs> this show is getting me. This show is getting me. We're only, what, like 10 episodes in? Oh my, oh my goodness. I can already tell this next game is going to be crazy. And to think this is still the very start of the show. We still have so much more to go, you know? Is this going to be a Q thing? Where the main character, every time they go to the bathroom, they see an opposing member and have like a crazy moment? Because this was a meme in Q. Every time Hinata would go to the bathroom, we'd run into the next guy we're going against or something. Speak of the devil. What are we trying to say? That he is one of the rare few who notices Kuroko? We just had what felt like episode after episode of crazy game and craziness. We get a five minute breather and we're already getting into this next game. I tell you, the pacing on the show was insane. A raccoon Chigaraki. Okay. I have done everything in my power. The fate, the wills have decided I will win today. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I fuck with Midorima, but I think the guy with him, I think he's my favorite on, on Shutoku. He's dope. And we got uh, Aseho coming to watch the game and Kisei. Whether we're dealing with a tiger or a rabbit, there's only one thing for a lion to do. This show with the bars is kind of fire. The one thing, no more long-term strategies, no more getting ready for this, that, and the other. Give everything we have to win this one game. We'll see about that one. He's not the type of main character to scream, get in your face, do this, that, and the other. He'll tell you straight up exactly what it is in a calm, cool, collected way, and I love it. Fair enough. Actions speak louder than words. Wait, we're actually getting gameplay? I thought this was gonna end. We actually get to see some of this? I agree. See, this is some good strategy, honestly. Kuroko is no. They're coming out the gate swinging. Okay, good shit, Junpei. We're on each other's asses. Like, we're not letting any other one get away with anything. We're not giving them any free reign. It's still 0-0, zero, zero, and it's a minute 30 in the game. Whoever scores the first point might dominate the entire rest of this quarter. I would never even thought of basketball like that, honestly. Junpei with the back pass. Oh, this is it. This is the first point. You think he could shoot at full court and I'm not even worried about it, bro. It's Midorima. Look at that arc. Oh. I know I said it before, but man has ice in his veins. Ice in his veins.
You think Kuroko care? You think Kuroko gives a fuck about this momentum base shit? No. That was quite the pass. This is the most intense I've ever seen Kuroko. Oh, hells yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This shit is so good. Holy guacamole. Talk about getting intense. Talk about getting to the good shit. We started off last episode against Seho. That was a great match. Sugawa, all of them. I loved us benching Kuroko and Kagami, leaving it to the second years. Not only for our strategy of letting Kuroko and Kagami still have energy for Midorima's match, but also because this is personal vendetta from the second years against Seho for last year. And they, Junpei, Mitobe, and Izuki. I had I got Izuki's name now. Fucking goats they're literally insane junpei is a great coach or not coach that's rico great captain mitobe is a great tall guy stability beam whatever you need him to be and izuki with the bird's eye view shot calling oh my god they, i love how and i didn't realize this going into this but you guys had how this is like a about a sports anime where, where they have special powers like it's like a shonen sport like it's like a, you know and i'm like I was like, okay, kind of go. I was like, Kagami, his special power is going to be, he's kind of tall, you know, but like, they they're actually have special powers. Like, <laughs> Rico can look at you and know what, like, stats your body provides. You know, Kagami is just Kagami. Kuroko's the phantom, you know, ghost. It's just I, this game. And then we're going against Shutoku right now. And we have Midorima. I just, oh my God, this is going to be such a good match. I was way too hyped with that start with Kuroko, the alley oop to Kagami. And I was like, oh. This is how we're starting off, and then they blocked it, and I was like, oh. And then, oh, this is going to be so good. So good. Such a good match. I am very, very, very excited. If you guys are as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you guys don't want to wait for early access, you guys want to watch the next bunch of episodes or rewatch these in the full length, check out that Patreon. You guys can also check out that Twitch. Watch Uncut and Early with me over there. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.